What's good, Omni Gang or Omni Scales Gang? If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. The cream tools will allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer, man. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's easy and everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm. Once again, that's anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R.fm. See you out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't know how to play craps, but I'm pretty sure when you hit seven, I had, was under the bad impression that that was bad. I mean, I don't know. In the, the episode of a TV show I watch, Rolling Seven was good. Some people say thirteen is a bad luck number. Some people say seven is a bad luck number. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm more privy to hearing thirteen being a bad luck number. So <clears throat> I'm posing the question <laughs> in the description when you find me on the Titanium Scales slash Anchor website. Click into my social media and tell me whichever platform you decide. Is 13 a bad luck number? Is 7 bad? Or is 7 good and 13 bad? I don't know. Anyhow, welcome to another episode of the Um Knee Scales Podcast. Omni Gang. Man, I love you guys. I love you. I love you. It is Tuesday, May 4th, 2.31 p.m. Thank you once again for listening. I know I have not recorded since the 16th of April, April, but in my stellar staunch defense, I was out living life, creating content, seldomly, seldomly consuming others. I know a lot of other folks work, consume others, and then live life. <clears throat> but I, you know, I don't take into account myself or, you know, I don't take it in and consume more than I consume and create and work on myself. I feel like that's a stellar thing that in my opinion that a lot of folks should do, including content creators. Um to be completely honest with you, I really 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 like getting into myself getting into my own thing getting into my rhythm my my groove moving to the beat of my own drum not listening to outside opinions of others and really understanding who i am as a man content creator uncle brother son nephew among other family titles that we all live are born into develop, create, and maintain. Today's main topic, I know I do a main topic and then I do subtopics, but I'm just going to stick to a stellar one here, uh, which is my word of the day, stellar. <laughs> um, it is people projecting their insecurities on you and saying that they couldn't live with certain things or they can't understand or tolerate the fact that you can live with certain things, i.e. the crazy word, quote unquote. What's crazy to you may be a lifestyle to someone else. And and no, I'm not saying hurting people or running around yelling or uh, jumping around in fits, just making random noises. I'm talking about you live in your life and you believe in a certain way and you have a certain beliefs and you know someone else disliking it whether it be through what's the word I'm looking through We're looking for whether it be through you know embarrassment fear of judgment which is the main thing or anything like that and they're looking upon you to say that you being comfortable with who you are and striving to be good and be and the best that you can be them looking in on you and saying, that's crazy. And they couldn't live with that. They couldn't live like that. 
good news, dipshit. You don't have to. You're living the life you want to live. And you looking down on me, you don't know it and you don't see it. And I'm not going to say anything, but that's motivating me. For people in my past, personally, you know, to look down on me and say certain things to me. And I told people straight up to their face, like, I can live with whatever I'm doing or whatever's going on. You know, I didn't explain it to this extent that I'm going to explain it to you guys. But I can live with my process. I can live with being uh, down in the dirt, eating dirt, eating shit and rising like a phoenix from the ashes at that time i could live with that i could still partially live with it because i'm striving and i know what it takes to come from one place to go to another but for someone who is benefiting from me let's just keep it all the way 100 because i don't lie for someone that's living off of me or benefiting from me to say something like that that lets me know that you a don't have respect for me and two that you know you think that you're better than me, which is cool. You can think that you're better than me or whatever, whatever. I'm not one of those people that, you know, walk around saying, oh, I'm down because he is better or I'm nothing because his podcast has 10,000 follows and 100,000 monthly listens. Oh, no, I should just shut my 60 something episode from over a year ago podcast down right now and leave the industry. So what if I have sponsors? So what if I have monetary gain? So what if it is probably not as big as yours? It's just super funny to me, man. I never was the type to really care too much about what people said about me. It definitely never affected my life. You know, you might have said something and you maybe feel some kind of way or got some kind of reaction out of me. But, you know, life doesn't stop no matter what somebody says or does to you. If you live and survive, which I'm hoping most of you do, um, you just got to keep going, struggling, striving and, you know, working to do bigger and better things. I don't understand why people feel the need to put other people down. I don't feel the need why. Or know why people feel the need to keep it real, quote unquote. Uh, Give opinions that people didn't ask for. I just don't understand it. No doubt I really care. But I will say this. I'm very happy to have a journey. I'm very happy to have a process. I'm very happy to have a system. I'm very happy to be able to create I never, ever, ever want to be the person that goes to other folks for my happiness. I just don't care for it. I don't understand it. I don't want that to elevate my way of life. But I would have no problem helping other people out, assisting folks, and you know, problem solving and just working through things. I just don't get or understand not having a work ethic. I try not to get too down when I may fall on the wayside. Sometimes I might be working on different things and sometimes I don't get to something I really needed to do or really wanted to do, like working out consistently which I'm not going to say I have like totally slipped up on because I haven't. Um, that's another thing. Eating right. That's very hard, you know, because everything tastes certain ways and good. And and in my opinion, man, I've been seeing like people like change from like the 90s uh, up until now. And this has nothing to do with the pandemic. This has nothing to do with people staying inside. Um, but it's just like mainly like people were like a lot slimmer in the 90s. I don't know if it was the food or something in it say, that's changing or like what it is, but it's got to be what we eat. Like, you know, I've seen like people like blow up, not blow up like that, but, you know, like get a little get like get a little bigger. Like I call it pumpkin head syndrome where people's heads get like super big for whatever reason. And like and if you like, like go back and look at movies in the 90s, go back and look at like. You know, a lot of things in the 90s or whatever, and you'll see, like, the difference. And I'm not saying this to, like, down anybody. I'm not saying this to say that this is one of the worst times to be alive because, you know, they're putting something in our food and we're getting bigger and fatter. You know, 
I mean, because there's still bodybuilders out here, there's still models out here, there's still people, regular people out here that look better than models, you know what I'm saying, physically and whatever, and probably mentally and spiritually too, and feel a whole lot better soulfully as well. But um, <clears throat> I don't know, man. I guess like in this day and age, whatever it, we're eating and whatever we're not doing, you, I mean, it's, it's evident and you, you can start to see it. Um, for me personally, I struggle with um, belly fat, which is, I mean, it, ha- it hasn't really been... Is as rampant as it is now, I guess, or whatever, because you know, I'm eating certain things and you know, not necessarily working out every single day like I need to. Um, and I feel like but the rest of my body is okay, but you know, my lower body, like legs, or all right, I want I kind of want my calves to be a little bit more defined, muscular, or whatever. But um, I do struggle with butt, belly fat, that's my number one thing. And last time I weighed myself was just like maybe like last year, actually, <laughs> that was like 258. So I really want to get a digital scale here in the next like few weeks so I can like measure myself every day, uh, see how much muscle I'm gaining, such and such, such and such, and get an Apple Watch as well so I can see my BMI, uh, blood pressure, and I'm pretty sure that the watch can measure a whole bunch of different things um, other than blood oxygen and all that good stuff, which is one of the reasons why I almost got one. But um, yeah, man, health is a very important thing. I am actually going to do something after this podcast. I know I say that to myself a lot. Um, I know I say it out loud a lot um, when I'm by myself and when I'm around other people as well. But um, I'm definitely going to buckle down after this. We're going to do lower body and upper body. Probably not in the same <laughs> in the same session, but, you know, if you're dedicated like that, then, you know, by all means, go for it. Do your thing. Do as many as you feel like you can handle until you get tired. But, you know, I, don't overdo you. Don't overwork yourself. You know, that's my um, amateur opinion. <laughs> uh, and few, and from my experience as well, uh, if, you know, working out, whether it be at home, using my app, which I do, or having a gym membership, which is getting cheaper and cheaper these days, I've seen. I've never owned a gym membership, but I've, I've seen the prices. I re- did research on what they were, what they are now. Uh, I've seen di- different deals and, you know, different gyms pop up. Like we got an LA Fitness out here. Of course, we got Planet Fitness. Uh, I believe we had a Gold's Gym at one point in time, but they moved, I guess, to another location. Uh, yeah, I heard good things about LA Fitness. I did like a little bit of research, but I'm not too too educated on them. But you know, I'd love to go into an LA Fitness. Uh, I went to actually, I went to Subway the other uh, last week, actually, or a week before, and I, it was like right next to an LA Fitness. And some of those folks were coming out from there into Subway. I guess you know to eat healthy or whatever, and. Uh, the location the subway I was in, the girl only had, they only had one person in there. So this person had to make the food. They had to ring each customer up and everything. When we got in there, it was like two people and three people in front of us. Uh, then people started coming in after us. Once me and my party got our food, we sat down and started eating. A lot of other people came in. I say it was at least nine to eight. 10 people in there at one point and the people started leaving and people started walking up to the door and seeing the line and once they got inside and leaving going to other places but you know i found that very very strange that that location would have one person in there i can understand the pandemic and you know labor laws and you know how much the cost of labor is per day versus what you're actually making in sales um segueing <laughs> uh when i worked at um, a smoothie shop Oh, we can go ahead and say it. Tropical Smoothie back in 2012. Um, if his labor costs were getting higher, the franchiser or franchisees, franchiser or whatever you want to call it, the person that owns the restaurant. Um, if the labor costs would get higher than what they were making, they would send people home. And I was often one of those people, which is kind of crazy because making minimum wage at the time was like seven twenty five or something like that. Making minimum wage, you have an apartment, you have lights. You have um, expenses. <clears throat> you have food you need to, uh, to bring into your own household. Of course, you get an employee discount. I believed it was 50% or whatever, or whatever the discount is. But, you know, even that, you know, things are, are tough. You definitely got to have your rent. Um, you definitely got to have your expenses. If you do have a vehicle, which I didn't have at the time, um, you do uh, car insurance, uh, maintenance, if anything is to go wrong. Uh, just a whole bunch of different expenses, man. And also, I know the cost of living living up north is high, but at the same time, 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. As far as minimum wage goes, I think that's the one of the like the biggest travesties on earth to you know have a minimum wage below anything below ten dollars an hour. Uh, because you know, I've made everything from like six. I think the highest was like in like the double digits or whatever per hour, and uh, anything below ten to me, even in the one bedroom apartments I had, the two bedrooms I had. Uh, you know, it's a, depending on your hours, it's, it, it can be difficult. So, you know, I definitely understand the hustle and grind of everybody out there with a nine to five, everybody out there with side hustles, everybody out there with a nine to five side hustle, dreams, aspirations, excuse me, writing up business plans, um, raising money, uh, capital ventures, uh, hedge funds, just raising money and doing what you need to do, what you want to do. And, I, you know, I commend you. I respect you. And I, I think that's one of the most phenomenal things ever, man. To you know, have a dream, have a goal, go for it. Make it whether you got, you make it on a vision board, or whether you just produce some content online. It's plenty of ways to do it. Plenty of ways to get it. Um, all of the ways I've heard to go get what you want, get what you need, work. And I'm sure a lot. Some of them I haven't tried, but the way I feel like I'm doing it is cool. Podcast, creating content. Um, just being inspired by just random things that happen throughout the day, random things I do, um, just who I am inside. A lot of things the world don't know. Just, you know, just pushing out, man, just creating, just coming up with stuff. It's some of the funnest stuff ever, man. It's, it's super fun. I enjoy it. I'm happy to be able to do it. I am very, very grateful to, you know, just have a life, man be able to wake up in the morning eat when i want to work out more than i need to or work out less than i need to but i'm gonna start working out more um uh, yes i believe we all should be grateful for what we have and it starts with me it starts with the man in the mirror i am definitely 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 um excited uh happy I wish myself nothing but the best going forward. I wish you all nothing but the best going forward. And I'm hoping that, you know, maybe collaborate with some of you as well, man. I know people have different things they do, whether they're like videographers, people that want to model, such as myself, people that want to act, such as myself, people that want to do voiceovers, such as myself. It's just, you know, life is abundant. Why do you think they're like billion and trillion dollar companies? Because there are people like us. Who consume and buy things life is abundant the world is abundant there are billions of people on the earth if you have a product i.e or service and service i believe you should be putting it out if that's what you're passionate about you're happy about it it makes you feel good it makes you think about it while you're in the bed when you go before you go to sleep when you wake up in the morning it's on your mind makes you happy it keeps you going it gives you the energy it gives you the the, the, the strength, the will, the determination. I, I think you should keep at it. I think you should keep keep pushing it. I think we should bump heads, run into each other and collaborate. You know, I've, I've grown to not only like one or a certain amount of things and or a certain amount of things. I'm trying to get into everything, man, whether it be publishing. So I don't have to go to anybody when I want to write a book and put it out. I want to work on my production company, Titanium Skills Productions, which is only just me, one man band, one man army. Uh, so I can produce movies, TV shows, uh, plays, productions, um, sponsor events, uh, among other things, without having to go to someone, someone else and uh, ask them. And, you know, which is cool for if you start from the bottom, you don't want to, you know. You want to build something on your own. Of course, we will. We, 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 we want to do that. But, you know, it's always good to have your own imprint as well. You know, so, you know, maybe you aren't liking the culture or you don't you're not all the way 100 percent with the culture of whatever else is going on as far as movie making TV shows. And, you know, the culture just didn't fit you. This wasn't your cup of tea. Uh, you didn't like how the inner workings and how things went, how things go. So, you know, just up and start your own. For me personally, anything I put my hands on, anything I'm, I'm involved with, I touch. I'm on 
do and try my best to learn and surround myself with people in the industry and about the industries I get into. So if needed be, which will have probably happen, I could create my own, reproduce it, put my own stamp on it in my own way, not to copy or bite anybody's things or to infringe upon any patents or copyrights or anything like that. I'm my own individual. You are as well. And I believe we can create greatness on our own, in our own time and together on each other's time. It's just fascinating how complex and how intrinsic this whole world is, man. I, I really want to transverse and, you know, get into a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm just so happy that the Internet exists. I'm happy that airwaves exist. I'm happy that I can just put out, put out, put out, put out, put out content, have people listen to it, be inspired while they're working out, while they're cooking, while they're watching TV, while they're at somebody's house watching something that they don't want to look at. So they put the headphones on and, you know, just listen to this and just keep their face in their phone, consuming other content, looking at me, checking out how I look. You know, maybe uh, getting a peek at my ball spot, uh, my thinning hair on the top a little bit, you know, just, you know, just laughing and getting to know who I am personally. Because I'm pretty sure like at least 60, 70 percent of people that listen to my voice here the podcast don't even know what I look like. Which is, you know, you got to start somewhere. Well, I started somewhere uh, consuming content. So, you know, hopefully you'll see me on YouTube which is C-D-S-X, C-A-L-I-B-U-R. Just that word there. Search that. You'll find me. Um, but yeah, man, if you ever wanted to put a face to the voice, there you have it. There you go. There you are. You are in there. Like the little kid off the uh, Everybody Hates Chris show used to say, Mr. Greg. I think it's the real name's Vincent something. But um, yeah, life, life, life. Life is abundant. I would tell you guys about how it rained four times yesterday when I was at work (laughs) and then it got sunny for whatever reason and got hot again, but I had been took my jacket off, but I never got caught in rain, but yeah, or I could tell you about how it could rain today. It's cloudy, windy, not really windy, but it's cool out there. Humidity's dropped. Um, but the thing here in the state I live in, the state of North Carolina or the state I'm from actually, um, this spring leading into the summer, the humidity has been kind of low, very low, actually. So the sun would be out and it would be like 60, 70 degrees, but it'd be like super cool. Like it'd be like a super crisp, crisp in the air. So if you're like riding on the highway or going faster than like 50 miles an hour, you would feel like almost like winter air. But it's but it's like 60, 70 degrees outside. I think that's very fascinating how that can happen like that. I'm hoping to God that that seldomly or rarely happens in the winter time where it's cold 30 40 degrees but it's like a warm humidity i just don't like humidity like that <sighs> unless i got on everything dry fit or you know with that air that that uh temperature or the moisture wicking technology i believe that saved my life it's made my life more comfortable it's made me more comfortable and you know i try not to wear too much polyester or cotton or anything like that because you know i just don't like to sweat like that and just have it on you and not evaporating fast like it does and like dry fit and air moisture wicking technologies. <clears throat> it's just super cool, man. Super cool. As I approach 23 minutes in two, one. Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> I like to bring it back around to my uh, full circle to my uh, main topic that, that, that I started with here, which was judgment and other people's thoughts I had the great fortune of seeing a lot of different things and learning from them I've had the phenomenal fortune of should I say being around and interacting with yeah let's say that being around and interacting with a lot of different people a lot of different people that believe in their own things. That's fine. That's cool. I have my ways. I have my my habits that I, I'm stuck in and believe in. Also, I say that to say I'm very happy to be individualistic an individual with my own thoughts, my own mindset. And no, I have not been right all the time. Excuse me. I have not 
been on the right path. I say that. But what I have been is a human being. What I have been as a man. And what I have been is independent. I used to stress that a lot. I used to say it a lot. Still am. Um, I love it. I love the freedom. I love the privacy. I love the self of I love the sense of self worth. I love the accomplishment of it in itself. <clears throat> and you know, I also like to hear people ask who do you live with. Um, you know, other like dependable questions like that, stuff like that. It's hilarious to me, but you know, I answer with straight faces, of course, uh, out of all respect. Uh, I live with myself. I take care of myself. I'm responsible for all expenses that I have as a man, as a person I do for self. Um, that this is like an expression or, um, a saying I've heard it says do for self first before you do for anyone else. Because if you aren't together then how can you help someone else? If you don't have yourself together, <clears throat> which you can do that as well. Help someone else, even when you're down, but you know, it's just a way of looking at it. Another perspective, <clears throat> but yeah, to the main point, uh, I have no disdain for anyone. I have no ill will or feelings towards anybody else. But I, like I said, I am happy that I was not easily impressionable, that peer pressure didn't overtake me, that I go against the grain at times and still do. I'm very happy that some folks dislike the type of person I was growing up some people still you know try to hold stigmas over my head to this day but that's fine I don't see you every day I don't interact with you every day so in essence you really don't know me you just know the person of future past if we're gonna do the X-Men reference I love Marvel comics I love DC comics I love comics I love all that stuff anyway yeah, a lot of people who you don't talk to or you, if you haven't seen them or interacted with them for more than six months to a year, don't really know you. <clears throat> let's just let's just keep that clear. Let's keep that up front and honest. You don't necessarily know someone that you don't talk to consistently. So, you know, what I mean, I can't I can't. I can't fault certain people for, you know, feeling how they feel about me, especially if you ain't talked to me. We, we, we came together and chopped it up as men or man to woman, woman to man or person to person. Let's just say that person to person. Um, I'm pretty sure there's people out there like that, but like the majority of people that I know and that know of me, I mean, we on great terms, you know, and I've tried to reach out to people. I have reached out, reached out to folks <clears throat> and certain people are close and dear to my heart. You know, I can talk to, I hit them up today and it'd be like super cop aesthetic as it always should be, especially with your family. Um, I just feel like we should all live life, man. Of course, mother, other people might have opinions. You know, you might feel how you feel about whatever you feel about it, but you know, how somebody living their life. But in essence, you can't necessarily judge somebody else. <clears throat> I don't care if you got a billion dollars. I don't care if you got a trillion dollars. I don't care if you got one dollar to your name. Like to me, I am living. I am alive. I've taken care of myself since the last time. A lot of people have seen me who've looked down at me on the past, looked down on me in the past. But, you know, there's no, no animosity, no ill will. And I don't say that to, you know, try to play the victim or anything like that. But. To me, if I like a person or not, and it's, it, I go a while in between seeing them and I see that they are alive and they look okay physically <clears throat> and they look okay, I don't know what they do, what's going on mentally, but if they look okay and, you know, they seem happy, then I know that, you know, they've been taking steps to take care of themselves as adults and they got support systems and they're living. You know, because to me, in my eyes, you can't just shut down in life unless you have some kind of support system or, you know, 
somebody you depend on. That's cool. I get it. That's fine. And to that point, I say that because I haven't always had people to depend on. It, it had to be me. I had to get up, go get it, go do it, go, you know, work, go grind, go hustle, uh, go do something. Or I didn't eat. The one and only and last time that ever happened to me was in August, I believe, August of 2011, where I went 24 hours without eating for the first time ever, which is not that bad. I look at it. It it was a negative connotation and and a negative tone in my life, all my life, up until like a year or two ago where I just was like, yeah, I look back on that. I'm grateful. I just look at it as an extended fasting period. You know how they fast in like the church and all these other places where that's part of a religion or part of a a mantra or a way of life to fast, go without eating. That's how I look at that as, you know, there's no point in me looking down on that like, yeah, I was down and out. Nobody would help me. I had nothing. Uh, My food didn't fall out of the sky like cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Which is a good book and films, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I, f- I feel like it's all about perspective. It's, it, that's what it's about. It's how you look at it, how you see it, how you hear it. That's why I decided, as Big Sean said, I love these references. This is a reference heavy podcast episode today. I love it. Shout out to Big Sean. Uh, but yeah, I decided, uh, Big Sean voice, to be happier. I decided not to be negative. I decided not to have expectations. I decided to stop expecting things. I decided that nobody owed me anything, which is how I wish I was raised. No dig on my parents. As I'm learning more about money, I wish they taught that in school. This is a lot of things that have gone on and have happened in my life that I've overcome, things that I've worked through, things that I've accomplished, milestones that I've met. Uh, milestones I like to exceed actually as well too it's just all these things have me coming to terms and thinking to myself like you really can do a lot more than you were taught you really can be a lot more than your parents were you really can do a lot more than a lot of people that talk down on you combined in this life by the time you're done you really can go further. And I'm saying that to you guys as well. Anybody listening to this? You can be way more than you ever thought you could be. You can do way more than anybody ever expected of you. All it takes is the will, the determination, and that choice. That you step out on faith with that first foot or first move. You can become a major figure in someone else's life. I've come across a lot of different major people that have helped me in life, that have given me some type of learning opportunity or some, something I've learned from them. You know, I just, I, I, anything that I took from them, whether it was their compassion, whether it was their kindness, whether it was a gesture, or whether it was like a phrase or some kind of talk or conversation. I try to take positivity from everything now. That's why sometimes you may see me staring off in the space or you might see me randomly sing something or you might see me act act something out. Like do like some kind of like impression or become some kind of character within like split seconds and then come back into reality and be strive for stride into the conversation we're in or strive for stride into like whatever situation we're in or strive for stride into like doing something fluid fluidly fluidly i mean like it's like serious like that like one two like i don't know if i developed this ability as an innate ability as a kid i was born with it or i developed it i don't know what but you know I feel like that's a good part of life, man, where you even when you have downtime, you're like sitting around or you're doodling or drawing or writing something. I feel like it's good to have your mind continue to work. Because, you know, when you stare off in the space, quote unquote, they say your brain is doing the most work when you when you stare off in the space like that, which I get or when you stretch or something like that, too. But I think that's very fascinating and very cool. And I'm very happy that the Internet exists. I'm very happy that Google exists. I'm very happy that Bing exists. I'm very happy that search engines exist, period. 
because a lot of people don't do research uh, unless they're looking up an actor in a film or they're looking up uh, a place or they're looking up something they want to know that they don't know, which is cool. Do that too. But I think it's very, very cool for me to be able to say that I'm self-taught in a lot of different areas. I'm very, I think it's very cool to be able to research a lot of different things. I think that's really phenomenal to like never stop learning, especially in this day and age. For my, me, my, me, myself, me personally, I feel like I'll never stop learning. I feel like I'll never stop wanting to know about something. I feel like it's a lot of things I don't know about. A lot of things I do know about. And it's a lot of things in between that I know a little bit about, but I don't know too much more about. Like, you know, when I was at the zoo, it was something I saw or something I knew about, but I did a little bit more research on my phone and looked it up and found out like a different area of that subject that I didn't know about. I think that's really cool for, you know, to do that. If you don't do that, I think it'd be worth your time to try it. If you're ever somewhere, somebody says something or you see something and you know what it is, but you don't know like why that works or how that came to be or why this is like this or that is like that. I think that's really cool, man, just to be able to research and look things up as, as people for ourselves. Um, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. I'm happy to have a voice. I'm happy to have listeners. Um, you know, this, this is pretty cool, man. It's fun. I feel like I'm like on stage when I'm recording sometimes. I feel like I'm in front of a camera when I'm recording sometimes. Uh, like doing the modeling thing I want to do, you know, for like the different brands on their websites and magazines. Um doing commercials i'm cool with that too let's get it let's do it man i'm speaking into existence let's get it let's do it you know shit if a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of one of these big brands corporations hears this and sees and does research and forwards them my information like yeah he's got this he's got this many episodes on his podcast he's this kind of guy talks about different things this is what it looks like this is how he conducts himself this is the kind of stuff he he talks about quote unquote preaches to people and you know He's trying to forward the narrative of, you know, going for what you want, <clears throat> being happy, um, not judging other people, not caring about other folks' opinions. I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it. I feel like, you know, this is not a means to an end. I feel like it may be one of the be all to be all ways to get myself out there, to get the, the voice out there so for people to hear me for the voiceover thing I want to do, the voice acting, uh, the character uh, development all kinds of different things and animation. I really want to do some anime, man. That's what I really want to do. Even if I got to, you know, make my own studio, find some talent and create my own stuff. I'm, I'm cool with that too. You know, and I feel like I want to do like some joint ventures with a few like public figures as well. Like I've, I've, I've not just because he's big and not just because he's, he inspired me a lot within the last three, four years, but I kind of want to do like an anime that I'm doing where, whatever it is, I'm doing it. And, you know, and I like get like real life public figures to come on. Something like the Simpsons do. Something like that. As themselves. You know, and then living in the day and age we live in now, you can record it from your own house. You know, have your like a studio set up or I can have like a mobile studio brought to you, disinfect it, uh, wipe down, sanitize and everything. And you can record your parts for my anime and or shows um, directly in there or on your own microphone, computer, or however you want to do it. I decide or whatever you decide. And we put it together and we've released a show uh, periodically, but more than, you know, more, more, more than periodically, but, you know, more, more consistently, of course, um, initially and as well. I think that'd be something super cool, man. Just have people on. Uh, I don't know what the premise would be. I don't know what I would be doing if I would be in the anime itself. But, you know, I think that'd be super cool and tr tr tremendously awesome to, you know, just have that going like that um this is a world we live in this is the world we live in where temperament matters where context matters where content matters where quantity matters where quality matters and where empathy matters and self-awareness self-awareness as well I would just like to say that I am working on consistently improving upon the way I receive information, whether it be verbally, whether it be in written form, whether it be content. 
and or whether it be actions from other folks. I believe happiness trumps all. No pun intended. Uh, I believe I need to continue to live life fuck other people's opinions and don't think take things personally and not take things personally excuse me I was in between that statement and uh, making the list and mentally how that that's probably how that came out but uh <laughs> yeah it's all good at the end of the day it's all good I'm developing no expectations for others. Or should I say I'm revamping it and continue to like uh, reestablish it, refurbish it, restore it over and over and over every single day. I am very happy. I hope that there is info there are listening points that you take away from this and I really 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 look forward to meeting some of you someday I look forward to working with you of course I've said that but I'll say it again I look forward to working with you guys in many different aspects I am very happy to know that I'm in a great position right now. I didn't always think like this. At one point, I was scared to even talk on a podcast, let alone have one of my own. I was kind of afraid for people to see me talking into my phone. And soon on the podcast format in front of video camera with the sound and everything set up properly. Just afraid to be seen. I feel like we all are. We start off that way. But if you work on yourself, consistently work, consistently grind, consistently hustle, wake up every single day feeling and believing in yourself like you can do whatever you want to do to make yourself happy. Whether it's making 30,000 a year, 50,000, 100,000 or a billion a year, a billion every three years, I'd settle for those odds. But then again, I wouldn't because I'd always be trying to top myself, become better, do better, be better. Every single time I had an at bat or I was up to bat, had an at bat. And every time I stepped up to the plate to bat and and be at bat, I would be trying to do something bigger and better every single time. As I feel like we all should do. And one of the last things I will say here is. Be careful. With the opinions of others. I don't listen to them personally. But be careful not to let anyone tell you that, in my case, you aren't special. Be careful to not believe in people calling you crazy and saying that they can't live with the fact that you're crazy, quote unquote. Only reason I said to this person that I was cool with you thinking that I was crazy and I can live with that is because it's my life. It's not your life. You're not my wife. You're not my girlfriend. You're not my mother. You're not my father. You're not anybody in my immediate family that opinion I really care about like that. And even them sometimes. I can't care about their opinions. I'm, I'm going to wake up and have to do things that I need to do without being able to call them or having to call them. Why would I call them? I'm a man. I can stand up for myself and take up for myself and handle my own responsibilities. So for somebody else to tell me that they think that I'm crazy. And they can't live with the fact that they think that I'm crazy. And they can't live with the fact that I accept that I that I accept whatever judgment they're casting upon me. And I can live with your judgment. But fuck your judgment. And at the same time, to your face, you can't live with that. That's cool. You don't have to be around me no more. I don't have to be around you. I mean, because nothing I'm doing every single day is affecting people like that that talk about me or say things about me or feel some kind of way about me. 
or don't agree with whatever lifestyle I'm choosing, whatever um, content I'm creating, or don't believe in any methods I'm putting out, that's cool. You don't have to believe in it. I don't have to believe in nothing you're doing either. I have my own brain. I have my own mind. I have my own sound. I have my own production company. I am my own person, my own man. So for me to worry about or give a fuck about with another man or human being says or thinks about me is the day the world will blast off into infinity. It just won't happen. Not while I'm alive. That's what I'm saying. I don't care. I don't believe in your opinion. I don't believe in your thoughts. I don't believe in your actions. If you have something negative to say about me, even the positive stuff, that's cool. I appreciate that. But I don't owe you anything. You don't owe me anything. I don't expect anything of you. You shouldn't expect anything of me. Watch yourself. Watch yours and handle your business. I watch myself. Watch mine and handle my business. That's all it's really about at the end of the day, guys. Handle your business. Don't let people influence you. Just tell people straight up. Don't play no games. Whatever you think about me or whatever somebody thinks about you. If they don't believe it, they don't care. I mean, they don't like what you're doing, how you living, what you, how you think. And you come at a, at a person like that saying you can't live with it. I don't think that's the right way to go about it. But, you know, hey, do your thing. But I tell a person this, though, as far as me and about me and mine. Hey, my journey is my journey. My process is my process. It's never going to match up to your expectations. It's never going to match up to your standards. It's never going to match up to your thoughts. It's never going to match up to your expectations. So, you know, just don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Work on yourself. Make yourself better each and every day. Do what you got to do. Handle your responsibilities. Because I'll do the same. No matter what it looks like to another person, we got to handle our responsibilities. We got to do what we love. We got to do what we like. We got to do what makes us happy. Fuck the opinions of other people. Fuck their judgment. Fuck their opinions. Fuck their standards. Fuck their ways of life. If it contradicts with what you're trying to do to make yourself happy. Fuck it. Fuck them. Other people's words hold no weight over me. I'm telling you. I don't care if you got degrees. I don't care if you educated. I don't care if you got money. I don't care if you got status. I don't care if you got material possessions that don't mean shit at the end of the fucking day. I just don't care. Please, please, to anybody that hears this, if you are lucky enough to hear it, I am my own man. I have been. And I don't really care, man, about side talk, low talk, high talk, small talk regarding me and how I'm living. Never did care about it. I was just just a lot less vocal. But to the masses, take care of yourself, work for your happiness, go after your goals, go after your dreams, go after your aspirations. You can do it. I'm doing it. If I can do it, you can do it. Like I said, man, I was a reserved, shy person that couldn't talk too long the people didn't want to talk to people i just wanted to just be quiet and be mysterious and just not let people hear nothing i had to say because in a way i guess i did care about people's opinions of me but now i just don't we can talk i'm cool i'm happy i'm cheerful i'm chipper i'm dapper whatever anybody want to talk about we can talk about it however you want to talk about it profanity laced or we can keep it clean however you want to do it man I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have people listening. I'm happy to see people out here going for what they want. I'm happy to be inspired every time I look on social media for the few things I do follow. Because I don't follow everything. That's what I like about social media. When you see something you don't like, just unfollow it or block it or whatever. You don't have to continue to see it and look at it and listen to it. You don't have to, you know, be complaining on your timeline about somebody else or this, that, and the third or you know, beefing with people online. I just block people, man. Like it's, I'm, I'm too grown for all of that any of that actually like you know random people text my phone call my phone i'm glad my phone got a feature where i can block your text i can block your calls you know and i don't answer private phone calls at all so you know maybe i should stop doing that it might it might be a 
an important venture or, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, something life-changing that could happen to me. But most of the time, it's people playing and doing bullshit when they call from private numbers. So that's why I really don't answer them. But anyway, opportunity will happen. If it's meant to happen, it's going to happen. Um, it's going down. Good things are coming, man. I'm super happy, still very ecstatic. Um, very grateful to have this thunder and trees outside of my window that make it cooler when it's hot outside and have all this fresh oxygen coming in. You know, trees produce oxygen, right? Or something like that, I thought, I think. But it looks like it's about ah, terrain as I'm cutting my tongue on my teeth. La, la, la. Um, yeah, man, I'm happy, super happy, super excited. And I thank God for you guys, man. I'm not really religious, I'm spiritual. If you didn't know that, you know it now. But, you know, I'm, I'm thankful and grateful for you guys. Uh, even if you're listening to, you know, downplay me, even if you're listening to belittle me, even if you're listening just to see what I'm about, <clears throat> I thank you. I appreciate you. Especially you that's listening to go blog about this, as how to how I'm this or that. I appreciate you. All publicity is good publicity. <laughs> All jokes aside, man, this is like one of the best films in the world to have my own place to be responsible for myself financially to be working towards fin financial security <clears throat> to be able to have my window open and hope it's not messing up the audio <laughs> through the podcast um, it's cool man I believe actually when I started somebody was um, cutting some grass or weed eating somewhere in my vicinity and I'm pretty sure that was going to pick up all of that because I've been listening to like some professional podcasts and some like Zoom calls and stuff like that that they go live online and I've heard different stuff like police sirens, construction, people yelling, babies crying, which is cool. It's just, we're all human. This is part of human life. But you know, it's cool, man. Hopefully you guys are picking up this cool air that's slithering in through my uh, screen here. Hopefully you're picking up the leaves, rustling on the trees as the foliage continues to grow back in from the winter we just had here in the Mid-South. Yeah, I did say Mid-South. Um, hopefully you uh, can catch up on a few rain drops I thought I saw. Who knows what those were? Yeah. Live, love, life, man. You gotta live it, man. To anybody hoping to get out from under someone else's thumb, leave a bad situation. I hope any or some of the words that I spoke today could help you elevate and transition into something else. To take a leap of faith. To go to places you never thought you could go. To do things you never thought you could do. Because I'm telling you right now, on God, man, on my own life. That I never thought I'd have a podcast. I never thought I'd be able to just talk to people randomly. I never thought I could hold conversations. I never really wanted to, but I never thought I could talk to different countries right now through this microphone. Speaking of, let's get it. All the countries that are going through something relating to COVID, man, I'm with you. Um, you have my spirits, my my praise. My adoration, um, praying for you that you guys make it through it, get 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 tested, get um, the vaccine if you choose so. Uh, you know, work on your health, man. I'm, I'm 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 with you on that. May your health continue to grow and be prosperous. But you know, for me to just be all in 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 different countries without ever leaving my home country, that's that's crazy. Internet, the internet, man, it's powerful. It's powerful. I'm telling you. You can do anything you want to do. And I just want to thank Gary V. You know, maybe I'm, if I'm not saying something the way that you learn it, or if I'm not doing something the way that you learn it, check out Gary V. Search Gary V. Cool, cool, down to earth dude, man, businessman. Uh, he started the same time I just started a year or two ago, actually. You know, doing things, uh, working for itself, building businesses, helping people out, man, and helping people find them themselves, find a way. But Gary V, Gary V, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary Vaynerchuk. 
cool dude, man. Look at him. Look for him. Search him on the internet. As I'm getting hoarse and my voice is starting to crack here a little bit. <clears throat> it's starting to get scratchy. Give me one second. Take a swig of this water. But yeah, 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 yeah. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. But yeah, man. It's very important, man, to, you know, have some kind of inspiration. Uh, but yeah, quote unquote, Gary V showed me. Gary V taught me. Gary V. Gary V just does so much. Gary Vaynerchuk, man. Look him up. Look him up. I'm sure he can help you. And I want to have the legacy of you finding him and you going for what you wanted to do, your passion, whatever makes you happy, and finding and changing your mind, doing different things as well. And, you know, earning monetary gain, monetary value. And you don't have to reference me, but it's cool if you do. <laughs> for my legacy. But I'm happy with people, you know, saying they heard about somebody through me and they're accomplishing their dreams, whether they're making money, uh, just doing something they love, uh, providing for their families, uh, starting organizations to help people. I'm very happy to be the mouthpiece. You know, I'm very happy to be the word of mouth. I'm very happy to be the, the stepping stone. I'm very happy to be the the, the, the bridge to, on the way up, man. Just go up. Do your thing. Search for your happiness. What do you like doing? Go for that. Do that. And find a way to monetize it and at scale and make money from it. And help other people and just inspire people. I aspire to be better, bigger than what I was this morning. I aspire. I am happy. I am thankful. I'm wishful. I'm hopeful that we all can prosper. Life is abundant. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it. I'm the scales gang. I'm the scales gang. I'm the scales gang. Go for what you want. Go for what you want. Go, 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 go. Because that, seriously, is what Gary V told me. Go. Do it. Act on it. Go. Do it. I'm the scales gang. Peace out. See you next time. Yay, yay, yay.